Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, where we bring you fascinating and insightful information about cultures around the world. Today, we are excited to dive into the rich and vibrant culture of the Wolof people. The Wolof people are the largest ethnic group in West Africa, with a population of over 10 million people. They are primarily located in Senegal, the Gambia, and Mauritania, with smaller populations in other West African countries. The Wolof people have a rich culture and traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation. In this video, we will explore the history, physical appearance, geographical location, social structure, economic activities, religion and beliefs, arts and crafts, festivals and celebrations, and language and communication of the Wolof people. We will delve into a different aspect of Wolof culture, providing a comprehensive overview of this fascinating group of people. The Wolof people have a rich and unique culture, with many interesting facts that make them stand out. For example, the Wolof language is a tonal language, which means that the pitch of the voice can change the meaning of a word. The Wolof people are also known for their colorful traditional clothing, which is made from vibrant fabrics and adorned with intricate embroidery. Another interesting fact about the Wolof people is that they have a deep respect for their elders. In Wolof culture, it is customary to address elders with the term Nanga Def, which means how are you doing in Wolof. This is a sign of respect and is used to show that the elder is valued and appreciated. The Wolof people are also known for their love of music and dance. Sabar is a traditional dance form that is popular among the Wolof people. It involves the use of a drum called the sabar, which is played by a musician while dancers move to the beat. The Wolof people have a long and complex history that dates back to the 14th century. They originated in the region that is now known as Senegal and Mauritania, and were one of the first ethnic groups to settle in this area. The Wolof people were known for their strength and military prowess, and they established several powerful kingdoms throughout the region. These kingdoms, including the Kingdom of Wallo and the Kingdom of Kayor, were known for their wealth and prosperity, which was based on trade and agriculture. Over time, the Wolof people came into contact with other ethnic groups, such as the Sara and the Fulani, and their culture began to evolve. Today, the Wolof people are a diverse group that includes both rural and urban populations, and their culture continues to evolve in response to changing circumstances. The Wolof people are known for their striking physical appearance. They are generally tall and slim, with dark skin and broad noses. Their hair is typically tightly curled, and can be styled in a variety of ways, including braids and twists. Wolof clothing is also an important part of their physical appearance. Traditional Wolof clothing includes brightly colored fabrics that are draped and wrapped in a variety of ways. Women often wear head wraps and jewelry, while men may wear traditional robes such as the boo-boo or the grand boo-boo. In addition to their clothing, Wolof people also adorn their bodies with tattoos and scarifications. These markings are used to signify status, tribe, and personal achievements. Scarifications, in particular, are a deeply ingrained part of Wolof culture and are often performed during adolescence. The physical appearance of the Wolof people is a reflection of their culture and history. Their tall and slender frames are a testament to their strength and resilience, while their clothing and body adornments are a celebration of their unique identity. The Wolof people have a complex social structure that is based on age, gender, and status. Elders are highly respected in Wolof culture, and are often consulted for advice and guidance. Men and women also have different roles and responsibilities, with men being primarily responsible for work outside the home, and women being responsible for domestic duties. In addition to gender roles, the Wolof social structure is also based on status. Wealthy and powerful individuals hold a higher status in society, and are often accorded more respect and privileges. However, Wolof culture also places a strong emphasis on community and cooperation, and individuals are expected to contribute to the well-being of their community as a whole. The Wolof social structure is complex and multifaceted, reflecting the diversity and richness of their culture.
The Wolof people are primarily engaged in agriculture, with crops such as millet, rice, and peanuts being major staples. They also engage in fishing, particularly in coastal regions such as the Gambia, where fishing is a major source of income. In addition to agriculture and fishing, the Wolof people are also engaged in small-scale trade and commerce. Many Wolof people operate market stalls or engage in artisanal work, such as weaving and basket making. The Wolof people are known for their entrepreneurial spirit and their ability to adapt to changing economic circumstances. The Wolof people have a diverse set of religious beliefs and practices. The majority of Wolof people are Muslim, with a small Christian minority also present. Traditional Wolof beliefs and practices also continue to be important, particularly in rural areas. Wolof culture places a strong emphasis on the spiritual realm, and many Wolof people believe in the existence of spirits and ancestors who can influence their lives. Wolof religious practices often involve offerings and sacrifices to these spirits, as well as ceremonies and rituals to honor ancestors and seek their guidance. The Wolof people have a rich and diverse culture that reflects their history, traditions, and beliefs. The Wolof people have a rich artistic tradition that encompasses a wide range of media, including wood carving, metalworking, weaving, and pottery. These artistic traditions are often passed down from generation to generation within families and communities. Wood carving is a particularly important art form for the Wolof people, who have a long history of carving masks, statues, and other decorative objects. These carvings are often used in traditional ceremonies and rituals, and they are prized for their intricate details and beautiful designs. Metalworking is also an important Wolof art form, particularly in the production of jewelry and other adornments. Wolof jewelry is known for its bold, geometric designs and is often made from materials such as gold, silver, and brass. Weaving is another important Wolof art form, with many Wolof women producing intricate textiles for use in clothing, bedding, and other household items. These textiles often feature bright colors and bold patterns, and they are prized for their beauty and durability. The arts and crafts of the Wolof people are an integral part of their culture and are deeply intertwined with their traditions and beliefs. The Wolof people have a rich calendar of festivals and celebrations that reflect their religious beliefs, cultural traditions, and agricultural cycles. One of the most important Wolof festivals is the Korite, which marks the end of Ramadan and the beginning of the month of Shawwal. During the Korite, families gather to pray, exchange gifts, and share festive meals. Another important Wolof festival is the Magal, which is held in the city of Tuba to honor the founder of the Murid Brotherhood, a major Sufi order in Senegal. The Magal is a time for Murid adherents to gather, pray, and give thanks for their blessings. The Wolof people also celebrate a number of agricultural festivals throughout the year, including the Harvest Festival of Takusan, which marks the end of the rainy season and the beginning of the harvest. During Takusan, families gather to thank God for their bountiful crops and to share festive meals. The festivals and celebrations of the Wolof people are a testament to their deep spirituality and their close connection to the natural world. The Wolof people have their own language, also called Wolof, which is spoken by around 10 million people in Senegal, the Gambia, and Mauritania. Wolof is a member of the Niger-Congo language family and is closely related to other West African languages, such as Fula and Mandinka. Wolof is a tonal language, meaning that the pitch and tone of the speaker's voice can change the meaning of a word. It is also a subject-verb-object language, meaning that the subject of a sentence comes before the verb and the object comes after. In addition to their own language, many Wolof people also speak French, which is the official language of Senegal and the Gambia. English is also spoken in the Gambia, and many Wolof people there are bilingual in both English and Wolof. Their language and communication are important parts of Wolof culture, and the Wolof language is a vital component of their identity. Education and literacy are important issues for the Wolof people, particularly as they seek to adapt to a rapidly changing world. In Senegal, the government has made significant efforts to improve access to education for all children, including those in rural areas. As a result, the literacy rate in Senegal has increased significantly in recent according to the Wolof beliefs. The universe is divided into two worlds, the visible world and the invisible world. The visible world is the world of the living, while the invisible world is the world of the spirits. The Wolof believe that all things in the visible world have a spirit or soul that continues to exist after death. They also believe that the spirits of ancestors have the power to influence the lives of the living. 
the Wolof people practice a religion that is a mixture of traditional African beliefs and Islam. Many Wolof people converted to Islam in the 11th century, when Muslim traders came to West Africa. Today, most Wolof people are Muslim, but they still retain many traditional beliefs and practices. For example, they still make offerings to their ancestors and practice divination. One of the most important religious ceremonies for the Wolof people is the annual Magal of Tuba, which celebrates the life of Sheikh Amadou Bamba, the founder of the Murid Brotherhood. The Murid Brotherhood is a Sufi Muslim group that was founded in Senegal in the late 19th century. The Wolof people make up a large percentage of the Murid Brotherhood, and the Magal of Tuba is an important event for them. During the Magal of Tuba, millions of people travel to Tuba, a city in central Senegal, to visit the Great Mosque of Tuba and pay homage to Sheikh Amadou Bamba. The city is transformed into a huge carnival with parades, music, and dancing. The Wolof people also make offerings to their ancestors during the Magal of Tuba. So, there you have it. A glimpse into the rich and vibrant culture of the Wolof people. From their physical appearance to their social structure, economy, religion, and beliefs, arts and crafts, festivals and celebrations, as well as their language and communication, the Wolof people have a unique and fascinating culture that is worth exploring. We hope you enjoyed learning about the Wolof people and their culture, and encourage you to continue exploring the diverse cultures of our world. Thank you for watching. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at nbo_ben.